China is becoming increasingly isolated from the world. This country of 1.4 billion people is essentially in quarantine. There's 24 million people in Shanghai, and I'm walking in the middle of the street. That can't be good. There's no way to really escape it right now, and that's scary. The statistics are a vast, vast underestimation of how bad the situation is. I think for us, this will be over soon, but people of who... <laughs> in December 2019, the first cases of the novel coronavirus appeared in Wuhan, China. The virus is believed to have originated from the Huanan seafood market. So this is where authorities believe the source of the coronavirus is. You've got police at all the corners. On January 24th, Wuhan was put into lockdown along with 10 other cities. I've never seen this road this empty in the middle of the day. We went from just being, you know, encouraged not to go outside and not to go to like crowded places to do not go outside, do not ride the metro. The city of Wuhan, China, essentially going on lockdown a drastic effort to contain the spreading and deadly coronavirus. The only way to buy tickets at this hour uh, is in person. We're good? All right. We've made it uh, aboard the train, departing shortly for Beijing. In response, more than a dozen countries have scrambled to evacuate their citizens from Wuhan. The U.S. State Department arranged a charter flight for American diplomats and a select number of civilians. Priscilla Dickey and her eight-year-old daughter Hermione were among the Americans hoping to get on that flight. I get the call at four and now I'm trying to scramble my way to get into a car at two in the morning to get to the, to the airport. Tomorrow, I'm already all packed. My bag is over there. Hello. Uh, we are going to the airport for the, uh, America. We're at the airport. Yeah. Trying to get to the fourth floor. Trying to get to the fourth floor. Yeah. Trying to get a ticket to the plane. The flight, filled with nearly 200 Americans, landed in California on January 29th. But Priscilla and Hermione were not able to board. You were all ready to go, and what happened? I didn't have my passport. So I couldn't get on the plane. The consulate is gone. The consulate was on the plane. It's just scary. Made you feel alone. There's no way to really escape it right now. That's scary. Meanwhile, doctors have been working tirelessly in China to try to treat the thousands of coronavirus patients. They don't have any capacity to receive new patients. They're getting treatments uh, to relieve the symptoms, but not a real treatment. Dora Zhang video chatted with us from Germany. She says it took four days for her 72-year-old uncle in Wuhan to get his test results. They came back positive. He's not allowed to be treated at the hospitals. Basically, he's trapped there. Our photojournalist, Natalie, managed to speak with medical personnel from all over China. Doctors and nurses on the ground are really struggling to get the equipment that they need, just basic safety kit. They have to wear nappies because they can't take their hazmat suits off as soon as they do. The suits are contaminated and they don't have enough that they'll have another one to wear. These images posted on the People's Daily Weibo account shows medical personnel in a Wuhan hospital making masks and hazmat suits out of trash bags. The statistics that we're all reporting on about the number of cases, they are a vast, vast underestimation of how bad the situation is. Photos circulated on Chinese social media showing exhausted doctors sleeping in hospitals. These are the images Chinese state media, CCTV, broadcast across the country. Rapid construction of not one, but two hospitals with capacity for 2,600 patients. State media said the first hospital finished construction on February 1st and is already taking coronavirus patients. Rotating articles on state-run news agency Xinhua website reassure readers of the efforts to keep supplies flowing. Before the official state news outlets began to report the dangers of the virus, people in China turned to social media for the truth. This lawyer turned citizen journalist in Wuhan has been posting the problems he's encountered, saying it's lack of face masks, hazmat suits, gears, and the most important thing is lack of testing kits. You can't get confirmation if there's no testing kit. And the only thing you can do is to be a suspect case and wait at home. Dr. Li Wenliang first warned friends on WeChat about a SARS-like disease going around. 
But instead of being praised, Li got a call from Wuhan City Police. Chinese state media first reported that Li was one of several whistleblowers silenced by police. Dr. Li Wenliang went from treating patients to becoming one. The 34-year-old ophthalmologist diagnosed with the Wuhan coronavirus. Back in Beijing after our departure from the city of Wuhan. My bedroom here. This is the studio that we've uh, created here. It's our quarantine studios, essentially. Got a nice backdrop of the Forbidden City. That's how we get our breakfast. Ah, oh, now. So I signed for it, and he bolts. He's already gone. China is becoming increasingly isolated from the world. At least 62 countries are implementing a wide range of immigration restrictions against both Chinese nationals and people traveling from mainland China. As a result, this country of 1.4 billion people is essentially in quarantine. At least two cruise ships, one off the coast of Hong Kong, the other off the coast of Japan, have been quarantined as well, isolating more than 7,000 passengers and crew. My wife is from Wuhan originally. They were back for a long family visit and we're gonna stay through the Lunar New Year. Then she called me. Wuhan is closed, no flights, no trains. My first instinct was get supplies, get water, you guys are going to be trapped. There's a feeling of helplessness because I want to help them, but I can't. There's nothing I can do. I can't get there. They can't get out of there. I think a lot of people that were left, they felt like they were abandoned or left behind. I think for us, this will be over soon. But for the people of who... <laughs> Those are people. <laughs> but they don't get flights out. After a more than 24 hour delay, it seemed the US and China were able to coordinate two more evacuation flights in which US citizens left the city of Wuhan and returned to the United States. I'm in Wuhan, China and I'm being evacuated. Oh my gosh. Now it's starting to finally hit me that I'm going to go to America. I'm just realizing the scope of the situation I'm in. 